Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's LaRaysia Andrea. So I am finally giving you guys a wig coloring tutorial. I know about damn time, LaRaysia. Dang, we've been asking you every single video. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them color wig tutorials, but I'm gonna come ham with it. I'm giving you guys an entire series of wig coloring tutorials. Not only that, they are gonna be all recreations of my iconic wig. In my wig collection video, you guys were going ham, you loved that video. Um, not only that, someone actually made a comment, thank you so much, shout out to this person that made the comment, sorry I do not remember your name on YouTube as far as your YouTube name, but she pretty much suggested that I should make it, uh, videos recreating all of my older wigs that are super iconic and super Laresia Andrea. So I said, you know what? Instead of just giving you guys one video, I'm giving you an entire series worth. So the first one we are starting with is gonna be the sunset wig. Only because I do not have a video on YouTube yet with me having that wig color. Um, and also, it's just a perfect color to start out my entire series because when I tell y'all, I did not have to go this ham with this color. I did not have to break the internet with this color. <laughs> just joking, we ain't break the internet yet. So yes, when I dropped this look on my Instagram, you guys were going ham. You loved it so much. I was like, you know what? I'm definitely dropping a tutorial today. So this hair is actually from High Life Virgin Hair. Um, I have used their hair before. It was actually their natural black and it was in the 32 inch video that I did the other day. So now I'm using their blonde hair. And you guys, when I tell you this is the best blonde hair ever, I will get into that later on in in the video but yes the first color I'm starting with is a rose gold I know it looks pretty like peachy pink on camera um, but it really did look like this when I was doing it so I was like ooh, I think I kind of put a little bit too much of that peach color but it is the perfect rose gold please give me a round of applause for finally having the ratio for a rose gold oh my gosh it has been years it has been for forever trial and error but I have finally came up with the ratio for rose gold people write it down take a picture tell someone but the ratio is from the kiss colors line every single color that i'm using in this video is from kiss colors um as far as the rose gold i will leave the ratio for that i will also put it in the video and i'll put it in the description box but i use one bottle of dusty rose from the new kiss colors line and then i use one fourth of a bottle of their neon peach I absolutely positively love the new consistency for the Kiss Colors dyes. I know I always used their Temptation line before, but one thing I can definitely point out and say is I felt like before their Temptation line was a little bit too watery. It wasn't bad, but I did feel like I always have to use more product than I wanted to because it was kind of watered down. Now their consistency is a lot more thicker. It's a lot more easier to apply on the hair and it just really penetrates the hair so much better than it did before. So um, I started and pretty much did the bulk of the wig with that rose gold color. And then I went on to using a goldish yellow. I wanted to make sure that I had a touch of orange in every single color that I mix because again, this is a sunset wig. So every single color that I mixed together had a slight pinch of orange in it. Um, hence the neon peach with the pink and then ginger with the yellow. Funky yellow is a newer color as well, just like their neon peach just a new color and just like their neon orange every single color is pretty much brand new except for the ginger and except for the flaming orange those two are very unique colors so they didn't have to really pretty much recreate them or come up with a new line for those but they finally have an orange which is a neon orange and they finally have like a peachy color which is a neon peach and then also they have the best yellow ever which is their funky yellow again I will leave all the ratios for every single color that I mix together, as well as the order that I put it onto the wig.
But like I was saying, this hair is from High Life Version Hair. Um, I did use their hair when I did my 32 inch wig about a few days ago, maybe even two videos ago. But this hair is amazing. When I tell you guys this matches, if not better, this matches my blonde quality from Fairy Stylish. All the way to the point that I am not going to be selling blonde hair from Fairy Stylish anymore. Why? Because she can give you the same exact quality if not better, she can give you blonde and longer lengths. This hair does not shed. You will see in this part where I, when I wash it out, not only does it have the color stick to the hair so good, but this literally did not shed. And I purposely always love to put this clip in my wig coloring tutorials to show you guys how much the hair bleeds when I rinse it out from the dyes, as well as if the hair sheds. And this hair literally did not shed at all. So honestly, you guys, I'm making a business decision that I just do not want to cheat you guys. I don't want to take you guys money when I know that there is someone else out there that can give you the same type of quality blonde hair that I have. She gives it at a lower price than me. She has 40 inches, 40 inches for $190. You cannot beat that. Um, not only that, her blonde hair goes to 40 inches and mine only went to 28. So she can just give you an overall better service as far as giving you guys blonde hair than I can. And that's just me being very transparent and real with you guys. So I'd rather you guys go and support another black business owner that is super good with her customer service, that is just giving you guys everything you really need as well as the length and the price and affordability that you need than I can. And that's just me being a very transparent business owner so um I know I just kind of went with ham with that but I just want to really just be transparent for a minute and just really be honest with you guys because I would rather you go to somebody that's going to give you a cheaper price than to pay an arm and a leg for my blonde hair when her blonde hair is the same exact quality for cheaper so I just went ahead and rinsed out the hair I let the hair dry overnight you guys know I do not blow dry the hair when I first wash it out because it just kind of takes away the luster of the hair and I love to have a natural shine to my hair when I flat iron it so that's honestly why I don't blow dry the hair when I first rinse it out and I let it air dry to about 80 85 to 90 percent dry so I'm just going ahead and just showing you guys a few clips of me blow drying the hair and this color is so fire like this color hits like it it is it is just beautiful like you think you guys think it's good on camera imagine seeing this wig in person like when I FaceTime my boyfriend he was like oh Larasia Andrea is back like she is back okay and I was like oh my god I'm just I'm just so happy like I did not have to freak like this but I'm so happy I did because it is bomb. So I'm just going ahead and um, putting some gel on my baby hair. I know I need to go and get my hair rebraided again, but listen, it is quarantine. I don't have the luxury of just being able to get up and go places whenever the hell I feel like, but I definitely need to have my hair rebraided. I've been keeping my hair braided underneath my wigs. I know you guys always ask me like about my natural hair and what I do for it as far as being under my wigs, but I always rebraid my hair or get my hair rebraided every single every three weeks um I just think that you know it gives my t my hair time to grow it's healthy I'm not in it I'm not touching it and it's just really just sitting in the braids all the time and just growing and that's what I just love about it so I'm going to be using some lace glue today you guys already know it's going to be hair by Erica J lace glue and I'm just going to go ahead and take a alcohol swab or just take some alcohol, 91% alcohol, and just put that on my hairline. And then I'm going to go in with the glue. And then I'm gonna go in with the lace glue. So I was reading you guys' comments. I always read you guys' comments. I see every single comment that comes in all the time. I'm definitely gonna do better with replying to as many people as I can. Um, sometimes I'm able to really apply to a lot of people and then other times, I don't know, I just get really sidetracked. But I'm definitely gonna make it a point that I'm gonna start responding to you guys in my comments because you guys get so excited when I interact with you guys. So I'm definitely gonna start doing that. But I know in the Erica J review video, you guys like dude like you're literally wasting the glue by wiping it on a paper towel so I was like you know what I'm just gonna just move the product all around my hairline because I'm pretty sure I will stop wasting this product because this product is 
fire but i'm going to start stop wasting the product because i can just spread it all around so that's just what i did right here so this is the wig i just went ahead off camera and just straightened it using my eap heat one and one fourth inch flat iron you guys already know i use that flat iron in every single video possible that i'm flat ironing hair because it's just so fire but i'm just going ahead and putting on the wig when i tell you oh my gosh like this this lace front like the actual lace on it is fire the wig is fire this hair is fire i just feel like the, it was just like the perfect length the whole entire um the whole entire way that i just laid the wig off camera just to come on camera and just lay it down for you guys it just is so everything is just a vibe in this video like everything just worked the only thing the only thing that I was really having problems with is a rippling effect in my lace. That's not the lace's fault. That's kind of my fault because I didn't put an elastic band on the wig because I definitely do plan on selling this later on in the week. So I didn't want to put an elastic band on. So I just left it as is, but I know the wig was a little bit too big for my forehead. So I already knew it was going to ripple because that's kind of what happens if you don't put an elastic band on. So yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of just was throwing me off when I was looking back on this footage. But yeah, if you guys don't really care, I don't care, but we just here for the color. We're not really here for the install. Okay. So I'm just doing what I do best and just going ahead and laying down the wig. You guys don't really need me to talk through this part because you have seen me do this a billion times on my channel. If you guys have any questions, go out, go ahead and check out any of my later videos that I have, but I have literally done this technique every single video practically so you guys should already have it down packed okay so i will come back later to close out the video but you guys can just vibe out to some music and i'll be back
All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Like I said, this entire slate just came out so fire. The only problem that I wish I could have fixed was the rippling. But again, like I said, if you guys don't care, I don't care. Um, this is 30 inches. I use five bundles, 30, 30, 28, 26, and 24. And a 18 inch frontal, if I'm not mistaken, it was a transparent frontal. But like I said, this hair was so fire. It was so fire. I will leave high life's information down below for you guys to check out because her business is absolutely phenomenal but thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys in my next video but the next video is definitely going to be a bikini haul and it goes up on thursday bye guys